Now, it'll be a sleepless night for students across the South ahead of tomorrow's A-level results. The results themselves can now be accessed online from as early as 6am, so I think it's going to be a fairly stressful breakfast tomorrow. That means that those who don't make the grade will start going through the clearing process from first thing tomorrow morning. Oshin Gorson is at Bournemouth University, where they're getting prepared for tomorrow morning. Yes, a stressful breakfast indeed, because tomorrow, after weeks of waiting, A-level students across the South will learn their fate. But for one local student from Dorset, the pressure's off, because he's chosen an apprenticeship over university. Connor Clark Short is 18 years old. Good. He's just started an apprenticeship in cabinet making. So why is he here and not at university? I chose this route because yeah. I think that it offers experience as well as education. Oh, it's fine. With the costs and the percentage of people who get jobs after university, that was a big factor. How many boards of this stuff have we got left now? Simon yeah, Pirry yeah. owns the business. Oh, Rather than take a graduate, he wanted to employ a school lever he could train from scratch. I think what will give Connor will be as good as a university education. So what he'll get from this, hopefully, is, is, is a really intense kind of learning experience. He, he'll, get, he'll get the MBQ learning, but what he'll get from us is, is a very intensive kind of cabinet-making experience, which, you know, is quite rare nowadays, I think. You know, there aren't many people offering apprenticeships. What a better place to learn than endorse it with a respected furniture designer, doing what I've always wanted to do. It's been a big learning curve since I started a few days ago. When I come out of university, this is what I would want to be doing. So I um, just got my foot in earlier, I guess.